Let's just have a look at it practically. As you can see, mobile phones these days can do absolutely everything. As I'm talking now, you can see my voice is being transmitted onto the um, oscilloscope. The oscilloscope, the horizontal the oscilloscope, the horizontal line is time. The vertical here is picking up my sound from my speaking and it's saying that I am, or it's showing the sound wave that my voice makes. So if I'm talking and I just tap hold, of course that didn't work, but now if I'm talking, that is showing you my voice as well as the reflection of my phone in the lens, but I can go with that. So, there is amplitude of my voice versus time. That was the voice. If I whistle, you see a completely different sine wave to show that is basically why a whistle sounds a lot sweeter to the ear than a human voice. It's a perfect sine wave. Let's now have a look. I've gone vertical. This is basically a Wi-Fi analyzer. This is bandwidth or frequency down the bottom now. Instead of time on the bottom, I have frequency. So this is frequency versus signal strength and this is the school's Wi-Fi network. It's showing me that around here we have got all our routers all transmitting on a small number of frequencies. Where there's some transmitting elsewhere and there's a big gap there where we could actually be readjusting some of our school's Wi-Fi to get better um, signal reception. And I'll probably send this video to our network admin so we can. That is essentially the tools of a telecommunications engineer. All just sitting on your mobile phone these days. But I use this regularly to set up Wi-Fi routers. I put. I know which one. I know where the frequency is um, not being used, and I configure the Wi-Fi router to work at that frequency.